My thing is like this though, brother. How do you feel about the brothers and the sisters exposing them matter of fact, overly exposing themselves on the show? But my thing is like this though, brother. What what is what is the deal with 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 the brothers always playing in these gay ass roles, man? Uh, that's just the newest thing in Hollywood. Basically they don't work for uh, gay black people. How do you feel about it? The gay black men being overly exposed. That's what I was just saying. Brought cause the shock. Like, it's too much. But why the why? Why they always got to expose the black man all the time? Why every show got to have a gay black person? If you notice that, the black person Oh gay. my god. Yeah, but they don't do this shit on white shows. No. Now they had the L word. Yeah. And, and I can show folk. you a fish of the, what's that, that Dynasty is a black, is a black gay person on there. Um. Oh my God! It's a, it's a couple new shows that they coming out with. Lakara, Lakara, something like that. Mm. Black gay guy on there. Mm. Um. Huh? On uh, shoot, what's that? Um, All American, the football thing, the spinoff one, the homecoming. It's a black gay guy on there, wearing wigs and everything, and they in college and yeah. He got the whole mustache, but he wear wigs and stuff. Well, what happened is they're doing the gay black because it's a cheaper one minority stuff. But what I'm saying is though, brother, it's, it's, it's been going on since the day of slavery though. We've been exposed since then. Why is it being heavily exposed now? That's what I'm saying. You don't have to worry about white characters. You got a gay person and a black person, but they don't have to worry about white characters. And what's the point of doing the gay scene? They just doing it for the entertainment, so they're trying to draw out the gay audience for my financial support. But it's so not they're trying to drive everything home. What happened is, y'all, when the film and they uh, uh, had a normal society where the majority is still free. So it's going to be a while before you can tap into the gay market. Like all my, all my little from the wife. That was an authentic portrayal of a gay man. It didn't make it. It didn't make him be independent of the character. It was a part of who he was. Mm-hmm. So, like, all, all my little from the wild, they did it right. It was a trick on the business of wrestling. But this new way of operating the river in it. No, and, and he operated authentic. It's just trying to get ready. Like, if you're gonna make a gay character, do it we were, uh, we were home, but we were keeping characters set at all. Mm-hmm. It was a part of them. Right. But they didn't make that the center of the whole story. Right, she and she is, right. it's like, that, that, that's where Hollywood is messing up at. We're trying too hard to be politically correct. Now let me ask you this, brother. What's the brother name that played with you back? The one that plays uh, the rap? Uh, Lil Murk. Lil Murk. I don't, I don't know, did, did you see this scene? That, I damn near was traumatized. Looking at this shit, bro. Uh, Little Murder had sex with, what was his name? Uncle, Clifford. Uncle, Uncle Clifford. Oh this one God. scene, man. I think during this time, I was watching this with my wife, right? Uh, Little Murder was, was, uh, laying the, I, I will say this word, laying the smack down on Uncle Clifford. And had his legs up in the air. And, and, and like, he, he was laying the smack down on Uncle Clifford, right? 
And this this was always when they was fucking, right? Now, the odds was reversed, and he wanted Uncle Clifford to knock him down, okay? Now, this brother was laying the fuck down like a chick, right? Now, I'm, I'm fucking traumatized, okay? Now, now, the man, they was laying, they was on top of each other, right? Now, I don't, I don't know what happened after the fact, but I can have a, a vivid imagination what the hell happened because oh the expressions on the brother's grill. Now, it sounded like to me, it looked like to me, he penetrated that man. Yeah. Now, it looks a little too real for me. Right, the brother doing the facial expressions. <laughs> And all that shit, brother. <laughs> like, like the man had, he had the motion in the ocean thing going on, like he was doing it to a girl. My man, the, the one that was getting penetrated, he act like he was the girl at the moment. Oh my God. After the man finished what he did, what he did, they caress and they hug mm -hmm. like they just made love, like there was man and woman. That traumatized the shit out of me, brother. Why do brothers always got to sell out for that bag, my nigga? So what happened with that bitch? Now, in particular, he didn't have any role. So he was like, after, after, see, this is a sad trip about black actors in Hollywood. There's no, there's no roles ready for it. Unless it's BET, Bell TV, and those jobs don't pay good. So he basically, when, when mainstream media comes at you, Basically, you gotta take what you can get. Um, um, I didn't see any of that, but I do tell people to look. If you're not used to, um, if you're not used to that, then I'll, I'll proceed with caution. If you're not oh, used to all that, yeah. <laughs> I didn't proceed it with caution because I didn't expect to see that it shit. Happened, right? I, I think it's, my, my, my girl told me oh my that God. it was aggressively, she said, basically she said it was some intensely um, gay scenes in it. And um, she was warning me about it. I said, look, I said, I ain't gonna be, I ain't here for that because I'm not used to that. You know what I'm saying? Mm, right. Oh, yeah. like, I'm not used to that. So I just, I was like, look, let me just um, respectfully like respectfully self-censorship mm -hmm. you know what i mean because because just because they put it out don't mean what i would give it to to buy it you know what i mean right no because they're already talking about the ratings weren't enough so they're gonna um get rid of it i have the next season or some shit like that so like already already they, they, they didn't get what they were looking for with the show so they didn't get what they was looking for but you got brothers like him desecrating his career and now i mean yeah he's might he might get a big role on a big particular movie yep. but nigga you incriminated yourself street cred wise your manhood yeah. too he's playing a new movie too as what i don't know but he's playing it too On, only thing i know if I ever become a rapper, an actor, or whatever the fuck that's out there, the one that's the nigga, I'm not selling out for no bag, man. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. So this is what this is what I be telling people don't like. You gotta do things in your terms if you're trying to be in the entertainment industry. Like Kanye, what he just bought a social media site when he yeah. got shut down. When you're in their industry, you gotta play by their rules. What? However, yeah, it is in Hollywood. You play by their rules. Mm. However, if you have your own money, build your own network, build your own media empire, and you then you got your rules. So that's the problem. We're participating in an industry we have no ownership or equity in. So they they're going to say they're going to do whatever they want, and they're going to expect us to follow. You still got watch that's why you say that? Because look about, think about it. Um, Diddy got remote TV, but he can't do such a thing. Yeah, because he's still distributed by Comcast and all of that. So he doesn't have, he doesn't have full freedom. Yeah. Because when that Kanye West interview aired, Diddy made them take that shit down 25 hours later. Yeah. Because he would have been canceled. So yeah. really, 
You would have to be on some Alan Jones Infowars. And that's why they made Noriega do apology for real. Because he was like, I'm okay. Okay. Saying, that's why Noriega was apologizing. Yeah, he was like, okay. I sat there. He was like, I ain't realized. He was like, I felt like I wasn't even in the room. When he was saying this mess. Mm. He was like, it was well, shocking to me. Like, everybody else. Three hours and 25 minutes. What was he, he saying? Was what Kanye was saying. What Kanye was saying? He said something about white people or some shit. And he was talking about... Um, nah, it no, wasn't white people. I'm not going to go into the details, man. Cause no, that, no that he was talking about George Floyd um, didn't die from the man knee in his neck. What no knee in his neck. He died from getting a fentanyl shot. That bitch... Now, that bullshit. What's her name? Candace it, it, it Owens. Was, so he said Candace Owens showed me the tape. They um they gave him a fit no oh. shot. Talking about that man knee wasn't in his neck, that knee his knee wasn't nowhere near his neck. So now George Floyd, baby mama, is suing Kanye for two hundred and fifty million. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you know he was under some type of uh narcotics during that time. For real? Yeah, but it wasn't yeah, enough he, to kill him. Well, it wasn't enough to kill him, but he also had COVID nineteen too. Oh, that's yeah, he had yeah, COVID nineteen. Yeah, he had COVID nineteen, but when he when was he doing that time, we didn't have the vaccines. Yeah, you know, because everybody yeah, was dying on that. Time. The, that's when it was the still. The vaccine fresh. only goes three minutes without oxygen. What you talking about, shot, brother? Foot. The brain can only go three minutes without oxygen. The damn officer. Had his knee on the man's neck for nine minutes. Yeah, well, now, they, now they're saying eleven minutes is some change. Well, yeah, and, and what people don't know is him and George Floyd knew each other for the better part of ten years. Right. It wasn't right. just a race thing. Those two was beefing for a decade. Oh, well, so the cop basically had a vendetta. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you know, you know, uh, yeah. That nigga was uh I think it was a security guard. I don't know what kind of security yeah, guard. Yeah, he worked security but, and George Floyd was the cop. And they was beefing for 10 years. Oh, Something wow. happened yeah. between those two where the damn officer was like, you know what? It's stay back time on your ass now. It wasn't just a race thing. It was a interpersonal thing. Yeah, it was personal. Yeah, because I'm like... So it, my man died over some Black Lives cigarettes. Matter said it was race, but really it was beef. It was a fucking beef. Yeah. Nobody really wants to... It's a lot of the shit that was going on. It's a lot more going on. Like Michael Brown... Um, shit, yeah. um, basically, uh, it was more to his death. It wasn't just some random encounter. And you know, he they just don't even talk about Breonna Taylor's stuff. Her mother and her boyfriend did an interview. Oh, yeah. For the first yeah. time. What are they talking about? Um, yeah, her mother said she didn't know until the next morning that her daughter was dead. Well, they said I'm that. I'm like, what the hell? Well, I mean, the officers was found guilty, right? Mm-hmm. They got charged. They got charged. They got federally indicted, but at the same time, why it takes so damn long? Well, you know how the judicial system is. You know, we always been laid back anyway, last bit or everything. You know, damn near the white people was getting away with hell of murders. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they still try to play the fiction on certain cases, like like high profile cases. Yeah, but, but they still try to play the fiction. Yeah, but that's why they got charged. Yeah, 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 that's why they got charged. That's how it is. It's like this little 15 year old little boy had his hands up and they shot him in the head. They, now they think he's saying he had a gun. The witnesses said it was no gun. Mm-hmm. Little boy had his hands up. He was 15. His mother still hasn't seen the tape. And he was on life support. They took him off the of life support without his mother's permission. That's how it is. That case is so. That, that little boy, that's, that's so messed up. That's the, everything is messed up these days. Oh, yeah, and the body camera ain't work. Mm-hmm. The cameras in the neighborhood didn't work. Oh, my God. Oh, that's, that's they don't have no footage of the officer shooting the 15 year old. They don't ever have footage. This is how it is. No, they Hey, 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 Sam, let me ask you a question, brother. Yeah. Would, would you do that, that sex scene? Oh, <laughs> Would you do that sex scene, brother? If if, if the powers that be would sit up here and ask you, like, look, man, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, man. I know you're not with this this gay shit, right? But you, you do want to further your career, right? You're like, yeah, man, yeah. I'm trying to get this bag, man. Fuck that shit, man. Yeah, man. Fuck that shit. Man, man, hit me up, bro. Hey, hold on, let me finish, y'all. Hold up. Yeah, man, I wanna, I wanna do this shit, man. Fuck that, yeah. All right, I got you, Sam. I need you to read this script. Bam. 
You read the script. You read the pages and shit. You flipping the pages. Oh, like, wait a minute. Man, I see you. No, I see, I see this. Wait a minute, hold up, bro, hold up, hold up. I'm, I'm acting how, how your interview is going to take place, brother. Hold up. You, you looking at the script. You're like, yeah, I'm this. Like, yeah, me and uh, Uncle Clifford. Like, yeah, we kissing. That's that's kind of suspect, but oh god, all right, what up? Uh, wait, hey, what's what's this? We wait a minute, hold, we supposed to be fucking. Wait a minute, hold up, yo, man. You know what? I I I'm not doing this shit, yo. Like, what you mean you're not doing this, man? You signed up for this shit, man. We told you that the show is controversial. We need you to do this show. What you gonna do, bro? No, I'm not gonna do that. If I have to do um, Hollywood, man, I'm gonna be on my fight with Tyler Perkins and just be an independent filmmaker first. Mm-hmm. That way, I get more lovers than say so if I want to deal with Hollywood. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. He never. That man probably never wrote a screenplay. He probably never directed. He, but for him, it begins and ends with being an actor. But they don't know when it comes to Hollywood. You gotta build. It's it's about eighty percent business, twenty percent acting. Mm-hmm. So you gotta come correct, so you don't get run over on. Like shit, Will Smith, he took that plunge. You think that was bad? Wait till you see um six degrees of separation. Mm. And you go see that. That was that was um extreme. That shit was extreme. So like he did that in the nineties when it wasn't cool to be gay. Will Smith did. So it's like, but I, I be telling people though, you gotta get yourself in a position to where you're not in those positions. Mm-hmm. So no, I wouldn't have, I would, and, and uh, to be honest, I wouldn't have even put myself in that position, man. You you gotta um you gotta build your own network, build your own Hollywood. Right. So you're not in that position, and it's tough. I know it's tough. But stuff like Lil Boozy, he got he made two movies this year. Mm-hmm. He put it on his own website called BoozyMovie.com. Water Boys and the Boozy Story. Mm-hmm. He dropped two movies this year. They both did four hundred thousand dollars each. The Lil Boozy movie made three million, and the Water Boys movie made I think four hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. But you saw what Lil Boozy did. He didn't wait for distribution. He didn't wait for none of that shit. He just did it. We're at a place in technology now. When 90% of the shit you want to do is at your fingertips, if you have about 100000 you can make a lot of shit happen. If you have about $100,000. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, I don't blame Kanye for buying, I wouldn't have bought Paula though, not for the, no, I would have like bought on website and shit. Yeah. But certain things, you got to have your own sense of control. Because if you go in there on their rules, they're going to do whatever they want to you, man. Right. My thing is like this though, brother. What what did Kanye West say to, to make Noriega apologize? What did he say? Well, he said that um, basically he claimed that blacks are Hebrew Israelites. Mm-hmm. That's what he kept saying. He kept proclaiming that blacks are the Hebrew Israelites in the Bible. Mm-hmm. That's what, so basically. Um, they feel, uh, the, the current Jews uh, feel like their identity is being taken away from them. Mm. That's what he did. <laughs> so that's what he did. He kept saying, keep in mind, he didn't say nothing overtly like, like oh, F the Jews, he didn't say that. Right. But uh, basically he was saying, we're also Hebrew Israelites and, and stuff like that. That's what he was saying. He kept saying, really, that's really his main talking point was that blacks are Hebrew Israelites. So that, that, was, that was his biggest talking point during the whole um, interview. Mm. Oh, okay. Because I thought he made his own show. So, so, so striking the hornet's nest. Then let me ask you this. What, what does this, this, this White Lives Matter thing mean? What, what does I don't, it mean? He did that shit for attention. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Oh, okay. okay. I don't think this day, he can't even, he can't explain it. Like, he just did it to get, um, basically, it was so he could get on his soapbox. He needed people to get, this is how Tony must work. He gonna say or do some shit to get your attention. Then he's gonna get on his soapbox and tell you everything in detail. So White Lives Matter 
that was the prelude so he could come up and say that blacks are the actual um, Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. Why did he just say that, bro? Nah, he, he, he knew it wasn't going to hit unless he did something more for Russia. Oh, so he needed somebody to, to catch somebody's attention so he can be heard? Yeah, that's what he does. So basically, he just used reverse psychology on the motherfucker, basically. Yeah. Oh, okay, I did. Because I was going to say, brother, that did not make sense at all. No, it didn't, but uh, basically, he just did it so people would have it, so he could get everyone's attention. Mm-hmm. But, um... Last time I was just fall back, show up for a minute, and um, and um, he's gonna have to fall back because see, the very people he missed, you you basically you accused him of having control of so much shit, and now you're walking into a, a situation that could cost you like shit. Alan Jones just got hit with a billion dollars because he wouldn't stop. So yeah, I, I hate for this nigga to lose all his money. Because he wouldn't shut up, man. Because that bad shit with George Floyd, that was fucked up. And see, now he may be, he may be broke. And they ain't gonna be on drink chance talking about how he was once a billionaire. <laughs> so if I, was up, I would make, I would apologize for that George Floyd shit. Make amends on that. Um, and um, and sometimes you gotta shut the fuck up. Because just because you started a documentary doesn't mean it's true. There were several studies based on race. That was intentionally designed to be um, to give us uh, bad results. Mm-hmm. So uh, people could argue racial superiority over black. Those studies were proven to be false. You got to be careful about what people say. Just because a professor or someone said off of their documentary, don't mean the shit is true. Hell yeah. I trust me, Candace Owens. Candace Owens, she's doing what many conservatives are doing. They're hustling their own fucking people. She probably don't believe in the shit behind those doors, but she's making money off of these people. Mm-hmm. They have these conservatives, and you see Tucker Carlson in them? Tucker Carlson was the biggest leaker of Donald Trump's um, business. Mm-hmm. Tucker Carlson, Mr. Fox News, was secretly the one putting all of Trump's business out there to everybody else. So none of them really believe in the shit. It's like WWE. That's all it is. I'm going to work these motherfuckers up, get my money and do it. Candace yeah. Owens, she, she discovered the name of the game. Mm-hmm. Can't, you can't knock her for us. Yeah, she's just doing this shit for money, but see, she's treading dangerous lines. Because back in 2019, when she was in high school, uh, when she was in high school, it came out, they tried to bless her ass. And the NAACP and everybody else had to escort her back and forth to class. So why are you siding with people? If, if it really, like say January 6th, it never stopped. It was a civil war in the United States. Conservatives versus everybody. All right, that's a good deal. Because you don't fit their fucking narrative of racial purity and, um, and, and, and all of one accord. You don't fit that narrative. Right. It was. Can I get a Gatorade? Thanks, man. But yeah, you got to gotta be careful with all that, man. Right. It's a dangerous game to play. It is. That conservative shit, mm-hmm. they will turn on you and they will kill your ass if they realize you're, you're playing. Is that the reason why they, is that the reason why they killed Young Dolph? No, nah, he wasn't killed by the conservatives. Young Dolph was killed because he stepped in on our so his Young Dolph gang was beefing with each other. It was a civil war with Young Dolph gang. They told him both sides said, "Yo, stay out of it." He took his side anyway. That's what got Young Dolph killed. They said uh, one of the niggas that that Dolph signed was beefing with. Uh, he was one of the top niggas with that Triller Mafia and shit. Yeah, he, he ignited the Civil War. They told Young Dog to stay out of it. He sided and signed the guy knowing that the, it was a Civil War. He wasn't supposed to do any of that. So they killed him. So what was the purpose of killing him? Though? Young Dog sided against the very people he came up with. They told him, they said, look, stay out of this. This is a Civil War between us. You stay out of it. 
He jumps in anywhere against order, so they they, they pop him. I'm not supporting his death. I'm not saying that he deserves to die. But what happened is when when this game comes out to this shit, you gotta stay out of it. My thing is like this, bro. Okay. If if I affiliate myself with some type of gang, and I'm a business owner, okay. If yeah. I'm trying to do business, yeah. when I try to do business with one of these gangs, and I and I sign one of their members, just because yeah. this this nigga is beefing with one of them niggas that's outside the group, it has nothing to do with my business. No, he was, everybody was inside the group. He was, was young Duff was a part of the Killer Mafia. What happened was they, everyone told him, "Look, bro, you a good guy." Stay out of this. Both sides told him stay, stay the fuck out. He did, and see, respectfully, when someone's telling you, when you, people are gonna tell you one time, look, man, I don't want to kill your ass. Stay out of it. If somebody tells you, look, stay out of it, because if people are gonna die, we don't want you caught up in it. They mean that shit. Unfortunately, young dog, he should have stayed out because. You saw how it all played out. He wasn't ready for all that tree shit. He wasn't ready. He was a civilian, a loving father of four. He wasn't built for that shit. Well, he was getting shot at and damn near assassinated attempts against with, with no, fucking your guy. That was when young that was when young dog that was when um black youngster, your guy is hard to try to get his ass. He, yeah, got he tried lucky. to assassinate that man. <laughs> Yeah, he got he got lucky on that one. There you go. <laughs> he shot the fuck out of that fucking band, yeah? Yeah, he got lucky. He was, he did, he got lucky. But then there was another time they shot him up. Mm. He survived that one. This time they took a Uzi to his ass and made sure he wasn't getting up. They hit him, I think, over thirty times. Yeah, it was an overkill. Tyson Trey dropped Trackhawk. He he literally rapped about killing young dog. He told everything. He was just talking about that shit too. Rap niggas rapping about killing the nigga yeah, off and that shit for real. No, he said sixty shots in thirty seconds. This shit go off faster than Satan. He already, he literally saw how it all played out. They rolled up on him and they hit him with automatic. The unfortunate truth and the sinister trip with automatic. You ain't even got to aim. You just got to hold that bitch in the right direction. And oh, one of them, a hundred bullets is coming to hit you. Oh, wait. Oh, you talking They called, wait, wait, go. Them right around the corner. Where they killed them? Yeah. Like, literally. Like, this the cookie shop. Mm -hmm. And they live around the corner. Oh, they live around mm -hmm. the corner. Oh, they were talking. They straight they got they the corner. You know, the right little BMW. Mm -hmm. They was dumb. First of all, you pull it up, you shooting somebody in a white BMW, and he got the tags on it. Mm. They literally caught them around the corner at their house. Oh, yeah. And not only that, is where the dog shot one of his videos. Hell no, that's yeah. even worse. Yeah. They had to do research on that shit, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, they did say uh, black youngster was driving around Dolph's neighborhood looking for him and shit, shopping with a chopper. Nah, and a couple of them niggas. Because of the, the beef with Gotti. But that was stupid. Like, you and somebody else beef. Just because you beef with this man, you're going to be done. You got beef. I don't like stuff like that. Like, I be telling my homegirl, because you don't like somebody, I don't mean, I don't have, like, I'm not going to like them. Like, they ain't nothing to me. So, so, the next thing. Thank you, shit. It, it sounds retarded, which you just, it makes sense. But you make it sound like it's retarded. Yeah. Man, now let me ask you this, okay? With my man Tupac, let's just use Tupac as a perfect ass example. You know Tupac is a ride or die nigga. Yeah. Now, you think he would have lived if he wouldn't have gotten to Chuck Nice Beat? Probably, yeah. What'd you think, Sam? No, he would have. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Tupac, Tupac was a ride or die Trick Knight wanted to get Diddy dead because Diddy killed his best friend. So the ship wasn't really about Diddy and Tupac. It was deeper than that. Trick Knight's best friend from childhood was murdered at the hand of Diddy in the bodyguard. Oh, that was the wh
That Nipsey shit, that was just a bullshit front. Underneath it, Nipsey got killed because he didn't want to pay the extortion money that was going to expose him being bisexual with Lauren London. He didn't want that shit coming out. Hell no, we we gotta talk about that shit, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? But what happened was he ran out of money to keep paying. The reason why you keep so many celebrities that are scandal, R. Kelly, Trey Song, is because they don't they run out of money paying the people who are blackmailing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, so Nipsey, Nipsey yeah, ran yeah, out of money. Nice yeah, Nipsey ran out of money, so he killed the thing. Mm-hmm. And then the moment he died. Nigga, why is digging my man's shit? 